G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here, and today in this video, we're going to take a really quick look at setting an audio or video delay in your production. Now, as you can tell here, it is super annoying to have audio and video sync issues. So let's jump into vMix and I'll show you how you can fix that. Now, typically in a video production, your audio is going to be coming through quicker than your camera signal is. So you need to set a delay on it. So if you're using a USB microphone or a USB interface or a USB mixer or some other kind of audio source, you may need to set that to be delayed. So what we need to do is go into the audio settings and then here you'll see a millisecond delay option. So in our studio here, if we have a USB microphone or an interface, we usually change this to about 80 milliseconds. Now you can test this out yourself by doing a clap test, recording it, and then making sure that it is synced up and then adjust this delay accordingly. Now, if you've got something like a webcam, you won't need to worry about adjusting the audio sync as the audio is embedded into it. Now, this is also the case for some cameras that have a microphone attached. So if you're using the microphone attached to your camera, then it will embed the audio into the HDMI or SDI video signal that it's sending into vMix. So you don't have to worry about adjusting the audio sync with these. Now it's going to be much rarer to be setting a video delay on an input. And I wouldn't be playing around with these settings unless you're 100% sure you need to. So in order to change a video delay, we just go into the settings here and then go to the advanced tab. Now up the top here, you'll see a delay section. So for example, if I wanted to delay this one second on a 30 frames per second video, I would set this to 30 frames and then click apply. Now, as you can see, the video is now delayed one second after the audio. And you can also see up here that I've got 119 megabytes allocated of my RAM on my computer in order to perform this delay function. So if you're having to add a long delay to your production, you don't want to be um, doing that because it's going to be adding a lot more stress on your computer. So you might need to rethink your uh, video workflow. So I'm just gonna turn this off, set this back to zero, apply, and now we're back to real time. Now, as I mentioned, it's going to be much rarer to be setting a video delay. So if you're setting delays all over the place, then you really should probably rethink your workflow and rethink your audio and video in your production. So once again, do not play around with your video delay settings unless you 100% need to. So if you do have any questions about vMix, feel free to drop us an email via the contact page on vmix.com. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vMix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.